west in Palm Springs sunshine today. They hustled into the desert after their tie game against the Kings on Saturday night, but they'll be heading back east tomorrow to continue their six-game road trip. They'll play the Penguins in Pittsburgh Wednesday night. You know, although it may be hard to believe, when the Oilers play a home game at the Coliseum, there's nearly as much action off the ice as there is on. We took our cameras behind the scenes at last week's Oiler Islander game, and what we found out has turned into a five-part series that we call the Rink Rats. Alan Stafford has part one for us right now. On the surface, it doesn't look like there's much to this job. Just jump in the seat, put it in drive, and make sure water spills out onto the ice. Brian Steele is one of a half dozen Northland's employees who resurfaces the ice for the Oilers. He's been handling this chore for five years, and he says it's not as easy as it looks. You know, there's a lot to do. You have to turn your water on and off. You, you raise your blade to, to shave off whatever amount you want, and it's a, it takes a while to master the pattern. It also takes a while to master a cranky Zamboni machine, as Brian discovered the very first time he resurfaced the ice for an Oilers game. So I went up to the ice, and I took my first turn, and I was driving along the board, and as I got into my first corner, the machine stalled on me. It just died. And, uh, you know, like I say, I was nervous enough as it was, and boy, luckily we got to start it again, but I don't know what I would have done. But Brian isn't the only employee with a tough job at the Coliseum. For the last 11 years, this man has been keeping autograph hounds out of the order dressing room. And dealing with overzealous fans requires a lot of diplomacy. Do you have uh, a hard time explaining that to them sometimes? No, to drunks. But I mean, the normal people are very understanding. Because you understand why the Americans are there to start off with. The Edmonton Oilers! Tomorrow night for part two of Rink Rats, Corey Elliott will have a feature report on Oilers public address system announcer Mark Lewis. Alan Stafford, CFRN Eyewitness Sports. While there are four teams left in the hunt for the Grey Cup following yesterday's act.